there was a, the number of people who turned up to watch it was was quite impressive i think it's it's a I remember we've had this you mentioned this some you alluded to it some some time back where you said athletics is repackaging itself and trying to get out of its shell it's trying to uh, to attract the attention of to have that global presence because you remember post bolt there was a lot it really struggled to to find someone something that can be able to take it to that level that it can also be able to be on the same le like at par with with football to some extent so i loved it i love the fact that they were able to have that banter before i loved the race i enjoyed it i watched it uh i was really surprised that duplantis is fast 1037 mm. 1037 is is is, is, is not bad oh, it's, it was more than decent yeah, he, was, he was and of course if you looked at the the coaching team fred Kelly, who else was there uh, i saw in the story about him and fred Kelly when yeah. he said he met him in the hotel and he was like when are you doing your blocks and fred was like two o'clock so he showed up and he was like fred just helped me mm. figure out how to push out how to do water and i was like what i also what i what i liked was was um the, even the other sprinters came shakari all the rest they came there just to i i like that there's there's something that athletics is doing because even remember there's that photo that was uh, of mondo duplantis mm. uh there was Karsten varholm there was uh jacob ingabitsen let's see there's a it, it just tells the i think they're trying to show is that it's a family mm. we have rivalry but we're still a family though we what happened he wasn't able to compete again he, 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 his hamstring he went. tweaked something yeah yeah but hey but the plant is fast that that boy can do anything the plant is fast that boy like, can do anything that is a, that is fast like the the takeoff and everything he's fast i think he can do anything hmm. i i he's those you know there, there are people who can do anything and do it to a world-class level mm. then there are people who can only do one thing yeah. to a world-class level then there are people like me who can do nothing to a world-class level <laughs> hey. i think he is in the i can do anything mm. you know those people who you hear uh they were sprinters phil neville played cricket playing football play, like he could play anything and be okay mm. and then there are guys who they can only do one thing i mm. think duplantis is in that group that can do anything Reminds me of a former Kenya Sevens coach and former international, Micho Chola. Mm. Micho Chola could play football, could play basketball, and played rugby. And he was very good in terms of even sprinting. Mm -hmm. the and he was high, it was not at all, but he played b-ball. And he was sour. And you know, there, what happens though with those people is they end up not, if you're not careful, you, you become six out of ten everything. Yeah. As opposed to going, well, you just have one, you die with the one. Yeah. Mm. But yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, I loved it also. Even from the way they entered the, the the track, their robes on, looking like they they are going in for a boxing ex exhibition. I think it was good to see that these two stars in their particular fields are attracting as much audience as they did. And yes, you hear about the chatter, but I actually didn't know about that chant. It happened. I only knew it then. So you can imagine if you get a guy like Noah Lyles who speaks a lot versus another guy who speaks a lot it's going to be massive numbers as compared to even what we saw i actually think this is the beginning of such events happening because already there is there is a demand for it there is an audience for it there's just some like it's coming but it's there's just something that was about this yeah and the beauty of it is that red bull and puma are able to put in yeah. crazy money yeah, and all the advertising and stuff yes so you're able to draw the numbers yeah i just wonder mm -hmm. you have just to draw a line between making making everything else look irrelevant and okay. keeping that count uh-huh you get yes so and that is why they couldn't do it on the same day on the same day yes. yes so if they could find a way of incorporating it like every diamond league or out of three diamond leagues mm. there is three crossover. races throughout the year uh -huh. where there's something random like that happening mm. you know crossover Ev <laughs> yes everyone has asked, everyone asked for this for this race throughout mm. rudisha versus bolt in 600 meters mm. Mm. That'll be a good one <laughs> you know yeah. so so you find things like, like but you find them once once so in 150 meters uh teboho versus lyles 300 meters uh quincy hall versus lyles 
you know? Or, yeah. or, or no. So you find things like that. Like there was okay. another one, I think, for Alison Felix, and then was it with someone? Because she also used to do 200. Yeah, she used to do 200 and 400. Mm. So I'm looking for a distance in between. Mm. So you look for 300. So, for example, you tell Sidney McLaughlin, come, run the 300, we see. Run it with uh, Gabby Thomas. Wow. And speaking of McLaughlin, you made a drama in Meleta for her being included in the Diamond League. Yes, because the, 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 the organizers were trying to be clever. <laughs> Early backfire. And the purists are like, huh? So ah, it backfired. Because they wanted her to be in the la- Brussels. Yeah, no, in, yes, in, yes, in, in, the, in the final, yeah. yeah. In the final. For both the two and the four. Yeah. Because yeah. no. yeah, I know. The, the whole season. The whole season. She's I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk so I think she'll run a non-Diamond League event. That's, I think, the, con- the, the conclusion. And yeah. here is that, again, I yes. say, why doesn't she run often? She is too good. Mm. She is too talented. She denies us the chance to watch her every single time. Mm. She's such a talent. Why doesn't she let us watch her? Mm. Why does she show up twice in a year, thrice in a year? What's she doing the rest of the time? Nkama <laughs> Cheptige. At least Joshua initially used to see him a mm. bit. How she literally, like... She just doesn't show. Mm. And, and and when now opportunities arise where you can get now these stars together with a certain pass of money, are you for it that you can have these events actually happen? For example, Events. maybe like the, the proposed one by Michael Johnson, the it's Grand great. Slam of Track. I love it. So you have all the stars in a particular event come together. Yes. Does it dilute the sport or it's fine? No, it's fine because the, one of the problems athletics has had is to put money in the sport. So if you are a, an average basketballer in the US, and an average NBA, actually, a, a rookie in the NBA, mm, yeah. if you are drafted money. first round, more you money. are making more money than Noah like, Okay, Noah is making good money. Good money. You, you make, yeah. But you are making more money than most athletes. Yeah. And also the, the ability to have them, all of them together in a race. It's all about the money. Mm. If you have, let me tell you, if you have money, everyone will come. It's simple. Tell Bernard, Bernard, I need you here. I'm going to give you $100,000 appearance fee. Bernard is going to clear his, his diary and show up. Yeah. You tell him, Bernard, I need you here, but you're giving $10,000. He'll say, ah, you know, I have a commitment. I'm not. He'll not come. Reminds me of something. So we'll go back to the conversation. Yeah. You see, like Safari Sevens. For the longest time, we always used to ask ourselves, how do you raise the caliber of teams? There's a time they used to come, but it was very simple. You see, like that one, just have prize money. Hmm? Have prize money, you will have Fiji here. Hmm? Half price money, you'll have Samoa here. Mm. Half price money, you'll have the New Zealand or Black Sevens, considering to come here. Mm. There's a way it does, because bottom line, people need to ask themselves, why should I spend all these years of training? Why should I spend, and then just go to be... <laughs> Imperial Makofi. Imperial Makofi. Imperial Makofi. Ah, thank you so much. Pat on the back. Given merchandise up in, in, in those sponsored bags. To another next season. See you next season. Mm. 